Stonelessons.com, okay? Uh, this is part two of a uh, four-part series on Soka. Again, Soka is just kind of a offshoot of Calypso music, island music. In the first one, we were doing the one... I consider that kind of the milder groove in the Soka, okay? Sometimes you want to shout the groove, okay? So in order to do this, uh, you're just going to put a snare drum on the one and the three now. So you still have eighth notes on the hi-hat and quarter notes with the feet, giving you that kind of disco feel to it. Now, if you listen to just the snare drum and the bass drum, you'll hear the one... A really good, like, fill to use, too. So utilize that groove. I mean, you can, from all these nice little world beats, you can take a lot out of it and make it yours. So that's just one of a billion examples. All right, so here's the groove with the one. Now, the cool thing about this is go back to the first groove and pepper in the second groove as the shout. I'll give you an example. If you don't know what a rim shot is, it's when you get 50% uh, rim and 50% uh, head at the same time, okay? So a lot of cats get this wrong, you know? A rim shot is a great accent with little, little work. So you don't have to whack that sucker. And if you see a guy who, or girl, or anybody playing the drums, and they've got a lot of splintering going on on the shoulder of the stick, uh, they're whacking those rim shots unnecessary, okay? So you have my permission to laugh at them. Plus, they're killing the rainforest. Okay, so, as I leave you today, again, experiment with it. It doesn't have to be just on the hi-hat. Sounds great on the ride cymbal. As I close you out, again, the music for this lesson will be fully transcribed on the site, nextdrumlessons.com. See you in part three, okay?